Please help me in welcoming Liliana Velasquez to the stage. In the end of my book, Dreams and Nightmare, Sueño y Pesadilla, I talk about what it has meant to tell my story. I would like to share some of those reflections with you tonight. Since I was 13, I have wanted to tell my story. When I cried in my house in Guatemala, I imagined that the house was a witness to my suffering, and that someday it would testify about what had happened to me. I want to express everything that I felt, how I cried because of the abuse and torment that I experienced and my lack of education. When I came to the United States, I decided that I had to tell my story because there are many people who don't have the opportunity to tell their story, who have suffered like me. Also, I'm telling my story because I hope that people here in the United States see the great difference between their life and the life of immigrants and change their attitude. They haven't suffered from hunger. They haven't suffered rape or abuse. They have opportunities to get an education. They don't live in fear of being arrested and deported. I want them to understand our dreams. When other immigrants read my story, they may become sad because they will remember their own story and suffering. I hope they are inspired too and feel very proud. Wow, look at all that we went through, how we have struggled, what we have achieved. I hope that my story encourages them to continue on and to have patience and faith to achieve their dreams. Also, I want them to remember where they come from, their roots, and to never forget their families. Uh, finally, I'm telling my story so that my family in Guatemala know how important they are to me. I will never forget them. I always miss them. Every day I think about them and how can I help them. Thank you.